Nate Angel, who's going to be on the morning show here in a minute, yeah. um, he donated via cash, too. Oh, thank you. So we've got some more cash in the bank. So my question right? is, where, where are we setting up um, tech, tech Talk? I thought they Studio were in B. Studio B. Nice. Thank you, Stephen. Okay. Good morning, Stephen. Stephen, who does not want to be on camera. I know. I know you don't. It's okay. But you look very nice today. He does look very nice. He does good, I like yeah. his haircut. Yeah, it's great. We need to put some more product in your hair. I know. My hair is getting a little flat. After we eat breakfast, we can fix your hair. We can use bacon grease. Can we not do that? Because then if I get hungry at lunchtime, I'm like, no, I'm like, yeah. No, Hold okay. still, Rick. There's a probably not a good ah. idea. Yeah. All right. So. Um, no, it's not good. Wow, dude, they just trust us. Look, all the producer people the are like just. The production table kind of blah, walked blah, away. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, breakfast? Okay. We'll just let those we'll guys hammer like up for a half hour. We'll be It'll fine. be fine. It's good. They know and what they're doing. You've been here all, all night. Bye. Oh, there goes the last one. We're out of here. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. We don't need to be babysat. Go ahead home. Take we'll just a nap. torture Do the nice camera wants. girl. It's fine. It's cool. Okay. It's fine. I don't know. You know that one of my one of my oldest Portland friends is out there at, by the door now. Oh really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. He he saw what we were doing. He was like, "What can I do?" Cool. So I said, "Hey, come yeah. be come be tall." Yeah, come be and tall. Work and work the door during the day. Because you guys aren't supposed to come down here unless you're unless you're actually performing. There's a lot of activity. It's a secret. There. It's not a secret. Don't come down here unless you're performing. Please. It's way too way too crowded. It's a little so nice. Brian and Joe, they won't let you in. No, no. If you haven't seen the, once we get the production table folks back, we'll do the production table shot so you mm -hmm. can see how much gear we have. I actually think this morning we might actually want to put a table there. With with the list, so oh, that they have to stop at the out. table to check yeah. in. I think that's a good idea. Because uh, I don't like the wandering. I like order. Cammy's very. Despite ordinary. my last name, I like order. It's ironic. It is. And that's enough for English 101 this morning. Now, <sighs> on to your other distance learning program. So bacon. we're gonna be well. What it means to you? Bacon. Bacon. You know what? Eat. I, Anytime sorry. anybody says bacon, you have to. Mm, bacon. Um. So, the variety show is long and riddled with awesome. There are so many crazy acts in that thing. It's going to be so good. We can't so even good. get into it. Like, I suggest if you've stayed up with us, you take your nap right now. We're get talking. Get ready for the variety show. Just get a little snoozel. Because it's crazy. Crazy mm -hmm. good. And DM me, say, Cammy, you said you'd give me a letter of an excuse, and you'd give me the, if you said a word or a letter, you'd share it with me. Mm -hmm. I will. Just DM me that information. Yeah. Say, Cammy, you said, and I will agree. I'll be fine. Rick said you could take a nap. That's cool. I understand. You need your rest. Yeah. What about me? Stand with their signs? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't some of you lovely people who aren't doing anything go stand outside? We have plenty of room out here. Behind it's right us. On the corner. And we can be like, hey, look. You can stand look. behind the Flavor Flav tree. Wow. Well, yeah. Oh, hey. He's been here for a while. Yeah, he's been here for a long time. Yeah. He was yeah. here for improv, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's been here all night. I'm scared of what you have on that camera, sir. I know. He's been snapping lots of photos. He takes really nice pictures, though. Oh. He does. He took one this one favorite. great picture of me and my daughter. Oh, yeah. And she's twirling. Yeah. You know the one. Yeah. One of, my, one of my favorites. I just got you got a twirl. He took of me riding up an escalator holding my I love that photo yeah, of you. That was at that was at OS Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's an open source bridge. So. I know every picture ever taken of Rick Rosie. It's sad. She does a lot of research to make sure I'm not getting into trouble. I, there's some bitch. <laughs> yeah. Move along, please. Oh, sorry. Bad topic. So um, <laughs> what else? What else? What can we do? Oh, they're getting set up for tech talk over there. Oh, awesome. They're ready. They are. Look, they've got a stool and everything. Oh, Dr. Normal's eating. Thank God someone fed my husband. That's great. That's good news for all of us. That you know, Dr. Normal's you know do you remember when he used to like handle us? When he used to, you know, be like, it's okay, guys. You're so good. Oh, what a good job you're doing. That ego stroking is long. And he gone. used to help us out with stuff. And now, who does he help? The people who already know what they're doing and not us. Is Nate a podcaster? Does he already know what he's doing? Do, have you ever heard Nate call into a podcast? Yes. He's brilliant. He Remember that time? Remember that one time? When he called me on the phone during a podcast because he knew we were podcasting and yeah. he wanted to talk to us. Yeah. Not even joking, people. He just it's called crazy. my personal line. He was like, That's hi, Cammy. I'm Nate. I'm going to call you on your phone and talk with my deep voice. Mm -hmm. He does those kind of things randomly. 
He does. A lot. So. Random man. We're getting, what? We're getting close. And Morgan. Morgan we in just, there now? Morgan looks amazing. And she's wearing her glasses. And, she oh my God, prepared. and the shoes. She's prepared for all oh. your tech questions. Morgan yes, sir. Morgan looks beautiful. Go be a techie yeah. boy. Do you have a do you have the stick? Yeah. Yep. We're gonna let Cammy go solo for a moment. Can I have your laptop? Yeah, you may. That's trust, ladies and gentlemen. Trust that I won't spill my orange juice on it. Ooh. Trust that I'm not gonna send out inappropriate tweets from his Twitter account. Trust that well, I'm allowed so to do all that. So let me get this straight. You're stuff. doing a tech support show, <laughs> and I'm giving you. I would tech like to point support? out, is his mic still live? Because this is way more entertaining oh, than what I'm doing. Uh, you told me to come over here. So Nate is He's doing a, a tech support show, yeah? And Rick, the talent, yeah, over there teaching him how to do stuff. Yeah, let's cut that in. Fantastic, thank you. And it should. Yeah, the TriCaster. Do I need to narrate? Can, do you guys have his mic? I have no idea what's live, audio-wise. What's not, I don't know. But, yeah. Hmm. If he's in a t-shirt, you can just go in the middle. Hmm. Now they're miking people. It's all fantastic stuff. Hey, oh, look, we're back. Hey. I got an opportunity to have a little snack. I just thought what you were doing was way more entertaining than what I was doing. Yeah, it was great. Well, By here's the time the thing. I got over there, he had it done. Not so. to, uh, not to <clears throat> demean Nate or anything, but as you pointed out, he's doing a tech show. I know. If somebody calls in with that question, apparently I'll be taking it, but that'll be okay. No. We have, we we, have, other we have plans. Do. Yeah, I got to fix the auction. That I, I don't know what they are. Well, yeah, you got to fix some. There are some items that need to be... I know, I told you. I'll, I'll help you. All right, cool. Okay. We need it's to, crazy. more importantly, we need to eat our breakfast before Pete finds out that we let our, yeah, our eggs get cold. That won't be pretty. It will be bad. I mean, the bacon doesn't matter the temperature. It's bacon, hello. And bacon's good at any temperature, even oh, though. Oh, bacon. The, um, no, no whoa, we do not sorry, promote Sorry, I kind of went drifted off. Rick, it's tell, them not, meat. tell them not to eat raw bacon. Don't eat raw bacon, like Candy says. I'm right, and you know it. All right, fine. So important tasks that Rick and I need to accomplish: eating our food, fixing the auction, fixing the auction. So and, go ahead and, and bid on and the locket thing, and I'll and I'll fix it. If you really want the locket thing, does it bother you when ahead. I touch you? No, she just hit me again. I didn't hit. That was that's a poke. A hit. That was that's a, two. It was a poke. This is two. not a hit. That's pretty close. This is. It's not a poke. It's a poke, not a hit. Three pokes doth a hit make. Okay, three, I'll agree. Three pokes equals one hit, so that's only one. All right, fine. You're, you're lucky there at home. The pepper bacon is kind of making my tongue tingle. Yeah, mine too. That's good, though. Because uh, I may have scarfed some down while you were over there working. The other thing is get your tech questions ready. So let me, repeat, the, let me re repeat the Skype, Skype in. It's 30-hour day on Skype. T-H-I-R-T-Y, hour day on Skype. You know, I'm not so silly. I feel like much more awake. Maybe I should read the list of sponsors again sometime. Oh, you want to do that? Sometime? Right now, I could. We can do that right now. Yeah, I could. It's a great idea. Let me bump the size up. I think I could do it without giggling. <laughs> Too much. We do have some pretty funny sponsors. <laughs> There's that one that if I say yes. it, I'm going to giggle. It's funny. I'm going to see if I can do it with this right. You know which one it is. I do. Do you know, I know what the problem is? I yeah. think I do, yes. All right. <clears throat> Cammy's dramatic reading voice. Yes. It's not as good as Curtis Chen's. No, but still. Good. Okay. 30 Hour Day Sponsors, Seventh Planet Picture Show, A-Boy, Bacon, BJ's Coffee Roasters, Blue Hour, 
Comcast, Duo Chronicles, Food Geeks, Hotel Max Seattle, Iterasi, Martin Yee, Nedwater, News Radio 750 KXL, PDX.FM, Pi, Reesers, Simler, Small Society, Target for Tomorrow, and the Horns of Destruction. <laughs> I know that part wasn't on there, but I, know. I just like to say um, it. The Horns of Destruction <clears throat> were awesome. They were awesome. Tech Craver, Tiny Meat, Wantist, Wideman Kennedy, 95.5, The Game, Ann Bocci. I love Ann. She gave you some great clothes. Oh, my God. Amazing. I want to put that one dress back on. Okay. We'll I think I will. Yeah. I think I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. Beer and Blog, Blaze Streaming Media, Bridgetown Printing, Dr. Sauce and Sneaks, Food Carts Portland, Hockley Photo, Icon Factory, Lock It To You, Mugasha, Neighborhood Notes, Our PDX, Pick I Am, Portland Trailblazers, Seaport Airlines, Slate Technologies, St. John's Coffee Roasters, Taylor Atkins Consulting, Techstars, Ustream, Whiffy's Fried Pies, and Yelp Portland. And all of those people... Have all done, those organizations. All those organizations have done a ton of work to mm -hmm. help us out, and it's amazing that all of those people came together in less than six weeks to help us pull this off. So. You know what I wish I could do is read the names of all of the volunteers. I know. We but there are ton. so many of them. I think volunteers. at some point before the end of the day, we need yeah. to just cycle them through the camera, except for Stephen Walling, who doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah. Um, he already wound up on camera, so that's Oh, fine. did he? Yeah. Okay, good. He was in that shot over there. Oh, sorry, Stephen. <laughs> sorry about that, dude. I like your hair. Um, <laughs> Except that, I mean, seriously, our volunteers have been amazing, yeah. and I'm not exactly nice when I'm sleepy. You're not exactly nice when you're awake. Uh, that, that was that's a hit. That's a hit. That was. That's true. I don't know what we're you, up to now, like seven. You know what? That's, what? that's less than one an hour. That's pretty good. That actually. is pretty I'm good. Consider, I'm doing pretty well. Consider the, I mean, consider the mean PDX. I know. That's a bunch of crammed that you have into to take 20 sometime. minutes. You know what I find sad? <laughs> We've had this beautiful piano here, and no one's like even laid fingers to the keys. When could something like that happen, maybe? Oh, I heard that Aaron Weiss from uh, from from KGW was going to be down here at 11. I can hardly wait. Mm -hmm. Playing transitions, and we can go over and hang out. Play some, yes, we can. Because yeah. he's on he's on he's on our studio. Yeah, that'd be great. <gasps> Don, Dom, hi, Dom. sweetie. Don Park just arrived. I believe that Don Park is actually going to be helping out he's in the tech stuff. talk, isn't he? Yeah. Nice. I haven't seen Dom in a while. So again, I when know, I, I when, seen as Dom soon as like they they cut me loose, I'm gonna go get hugs. I thought he would wear his suit because he's got that new avatar with the suit. God, yeah, you look great in the suit, Don. Yeah, <laughs> I know. This is the thing. You let me have a camera for like hours and and make me entertain people. I'm gonna have a nice warm snuggle with the laptop and yell People's that my names. friends look handsome. Oh, it is. It's true. I am. I'm just gonna be like, hey, looking good, Megan. How you doing, baby? Hey, Dr. Normal. Nice pants. Oh, boy. It's, hey, Mikey. We've really gone I'm off the I'm glad you're still wearing the yeah. hat. See? <laughs> See? This is why we don't she leave She gets really complimentary after 24 hours. Hey, Ray. What? No, I don't want to hear it. I'm going to tell you something. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not about you. Okay, good. Okay? When I was um, back in the in the in in our room getting, yeah. getting my makeup done before I came out, mm -hmm. do you know what Megan told me? What? She said, wow, you have really long lashes, Cammie. Really? I need to ever see my lashes. I know. But look. Look. They do look good. They Thank look you. Good. Look good. Rick has yeah. better lashes than I do. We all know it. It's, it's okay. We're comfortable with it. I was too tired to put makeup on him last night. <laughs> we'll have to save it for next 30-hour day. You're not getting out of it. If I have to, like, drag you down into my basement and put makeup on you I'm on never Strange of Live. Oh, yeah. That'd be good January 1st. Rick's turning over a new leaf. He's decided to wear makeup all the time. But you have to put makeup on me too. That was the deal. That's you would, you know, you just don't want to do it because you know you'd be really good at it. Uh, that yeah, that would be part of the problem. You would be. I probably would. You would. I would be concerned with the quality of the the makeup production. So, mm -hmm. tech questions. Your laptop is making me warm. It's I know, making it's really me all warm. hot and kind of bothered. If you've got tech questions, start queuing up on Skype. We're getting ready. We're almost ready to shoot over there. What time is What's it? What's the? It's 9:24. What's the Skype? What's the Skype 
Uh, the Skype, if, you, if you're watching at home, is up on the screen right now. It's a 30-hour day, day with 30 spelled out, all one word. Mm -hmm. Call that number. Yeah. Yeah. These guys can answer any time. I don't care any what you question. throw at them. Do you think that we could like go hide in the back room and like crank call them? Yeah, we totally should. Should we? Let's and we should ask them questions about like I don't know something. They if don't their know refrigerator about. is running. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you have uh, Prince? I'm gonna do it. Albert in a can. <laughs> I've never even understood that joke. I don't know. It's some old product that come, comes in a can. I don't understand it. You're supposed to let him know. If Prince Albert. No, I understand, can. but I don't understand what it, what I don't understand what it is. Like I understand the whole "is your refrigerator running?" joke. Right. I get that. I do. I mean, a classic, right? Yeah, I know that one. That's never fail. And and you know, I that's cool with me. That's fine. You know I mean, how I can tell we've been I, on camera too long? We're doing our thing. We're both leaning in. We're both. I know. Like, we're kind of starting I, to lean. I I need some sort of comfort and support. I need our auras to meld or something. Was that snow? Yeah. Oh, really. you! <laughs> it's not, oh, that was really close to a hit. You I'm using my words and not my hands. You're in crown. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm going to do? I maybe, what? I'm just going to have some orange juice. All right, there you go. That'll make you feel better. Yes, I'm sure it will. So, <laughs> so kids, how do you like the Stalin so far? You've been doing it for like Stalin. a half hour or so. Are you Stalin? a fan of Stalin? <laughs> Can we get some uh, communist stuff up on the green Unfortunately, screen? Unfortunately, the green screen is over there with Don. Don's on the green screen? Yeah. And Don might disappear with that sweatshirt on. What's he doing? Is he going to be like, uh, so are they also filming Tech Talk on Studio C? I don't know what's going on. We suddenly added another studio in the middle of the night. Hey, what other exciting things are happening later? Well, we were talking about that. We're not going to go into the details of the variety show because we're going to cover that at the top of the variety show. Variety show, 11 to 6. But, but 6 o'clock. Yeah. Our buddy's coming down. Yeah? Our buddy who? Ryan. Isn't oh, yeah. that when Ryan comes down? Yes, it is. That's yeah. Food Geeks and the Wine Geeks. Hey. Wine Geeks just relaunched. Mm -hmm. Nate, is Crystal coming down? Yeah, Kay. Crystal's going to join us. Crystal's cool. going to be here as well. That's going to be awesome. Wine tasting. Or... I have no idea. Uh, uh, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, back bends? What? Oh, the shaving thing. Oh, really? You guys are actually going to shave? If they donate enough money. Yeah, if they donate enough money, we'll just wow. we'll set it up. Who's for that. the third person shaving? Uh, McClure volunteered his goatee. No, his stash. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, McClure, was this true, sweetie? This is all Did up you... for grabs on the shaving stuff. Yeah. Is Liz going to cry? Yeah. I I'm, I'm going to cry. What? Oh, we did not go the through clocks the clocks. The clocks are like all crazy though. They can't all be right. Yeah, yeah. no, they it's, they can't be right. It's weird. Maybe we'll set our we clocks we later. That's a clocks great idea. I'm just I'm mourning a little about the McClure facial and the Nate long wavy hair. And yeah. Now I don't like him with long hair. I'm happy he's gonna cut it. <laughs> Everybody, please donate so that Nate will cut his hair. That would be my legs, I believe. Yeah. I have a sh I have a I have a little razor. Did you? Oh, great. It wasn't for you. Can I borrow it? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. I didn't bring any shaving cream though. I don't know. We could walk over there and ask them. Yeah. Wow, this is intense. I I would be I and would Ryan be shocked. And Ryan is going to shave his beard, yeah. right? Beard mustache. and oh, I'm mustache. sorry, mustache. He didn't yeah, grow a beard. Mustache. He just got a. So it's actually. Can cool. we get Rail to come down and, and get rid of his? Rail's mustache? is gone. Oh, did he get rid of it? Yeah, okay. I saw Rail the other Never day. Never mind. He's gone. Just an errant so, thought. Are we Put ready? Okay. It sounds like. Oh my like goodness. Tech talk. I'm so excited. This is gonna to be make so good. Phone calls after I eat my Do not, Hey, people are running by. Hey, people. Anyway. Stand by the window and watch tech so, talk. All right. We're we're moving over right now to tech talk. We need to light them up. With Nate and Morgan, it's gonna be fantastic. So please call. Although in. apparently they're not lit yet, so maybe I should keep talking. Call in with your tech questions duck, at 30hourday on duck. Skype. Oh, I was going to say 30hourday.org. <laughs> 30 spelled out. T-H-I-R-T-Y. Hour. Day. I want you to stump them. I want you to make it 
very with difficult some crazy for them. question, and those guys are really and smart. And I also want you to Two take note of Morgan's awesome vest, because, and tell her that it's structured. It's not it's tight, it's structure. structured. This is important. A woman can use some structure in her wardrobe. You know I'm right, Morgan. Are we ready? All right. Okay. We're going to hand off Tech Talk with Morgan. See you guys later. We're going to eat while they so do the thing. Don't stop talking. I'm not, uh, cool. I found my sunglasses. Hey. We're on. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Welcome. Hello. I'm Welcome Morgan. to the uh, Tech Talk segment of 30 Hour Day. I'm Nate Angel, also known as Holotl on Twitter, X-O-L-O-T-L. And I'm with my lovely co-host, Morgan, Hi. Morgan PDX on Twitter. Hi, everyone. So this is the first time that we've ever, ever tried to do this, but we thought that 30 hour day was a good reason to step out of the house and try to do something new. <laughs> get a little um, rain on our heads. Get a little brain on our heads. Rain. Oh, yeah. rain. Yeah. Rain. I'm gonna, we're going to get a little brain on our heads today, too. At any rate, the idea here is that we are ready, willing, and able, not only Morgan and I, who are going to provide witty repartee, but also our crack team of internet researchers who are off camera at the moment. Yeah, we've we got them chained to desks. We do. Chained to their laptops. Exactly, but they do really get to eat bacon. Um, really good bacon. It is good bacon. Is and where did the bacon, bacon come from, Morgan? It came from the bacon guys, Scott Kvitten and... Glassby. Jason Glassby, yes. Thank you. N nice. Thank well, you, off-team cast of researchers. And if we do a really good job today, will we be able to get bacon after the show? God, I hope so. Excellent. So the idea here is that we are ready, willing, and able to take any of your technical questions online. Basically, we're ripping off Car Talk, right, Morgan? Yes, we are. <laughs> Which is a show that I watch all the time. I watch it, too, except I watch it on the radio. So it's hard to see, but you can Which hear it. Which tells you just how much I watch it. Exactly. At any rate, the idea is that we're going to be really funny, and we're going to be talking about technology. I don't know if I can be funny. And the whole idea here is, oh, Morgan can't be funny? You can't be funny I don't today? know if I can be funny. The idea here, though, is that what are we doing here? Why are we even here, Morgan? We are here for 30 Hour Day, which is a fundraiser telethon to raise money for Free Geek. Toys for Tots and the Oregon Food Bank, which are all great, great uh, charities that we really want to support in the Portland area. And what I'd like to say is that for all the people watching the day on, uh, can we get a close up of this button? Everybody who's watching the day on segment, if you donate to 30 Hour Day during the um, day on portion of our segment, the Tech Talk sponsored by Day On segment of 30 Hour Day, you will get an official day on button, limited edition from One Inch Round here in Portland. Excellent. Our local button emporium. And uh, I'm going to attach mine right now. You need some help with that? Uh, oh, I almost put it right on my mic. That would be yeah. bad, wouldn't it? So, callers. I've got mine. <laughs> if you would like to call in with a technical question, you can Skype us at day on, not off. That's all one word. Day On Not Off, which is also available on the website at dayon.org. And let me tell you a little bit about Day On. Yeah, please do, Nate, because I've never heard of it. You've never heard of Day On, but you're my co-host. Just work with me here. Just, <laughs> okay. I'm feeding you here. It, it all started about a year ago on a certain holiday called Martin Luther King Day. Really? Yeah. Have you ever heard of that one? I think I'm familiar with it, okay. yes. Do you know what people do on Martin Luther King Day? They don't do anything. They're they don't like, do anything. I have a day off because of Martin Luther King. Thank you, Martin Luther King. Exactly. But and you, I'm going to take a day off. But you hit on to something, right? Day on, not off. Oh. You're supposed to make Martin Luther King Day a day on, <laughs> not off. So, so instead of taking a day off and just going and lounging in my backyard, I should actually, you know, contribute to the community exactly. on my day off. That is and, fabulous. And what, oh my God, we already have a caller. Really? We will continue to introduce Day On after we take our caller. Oh, look, it's Teresa Bose. Hello. Teresa. Oop. We lost her and we're getting her back now. Hello. You are on the air, Teresa. Hello. Hey, Nate. Hey, we can hear you. 
Oh, good. Okay, it took a while to come through. Yeah, what's going on? Do you have a technical question for uh, I, Tech Talk at 30 hour day? Yeah, we've got a horrible echo going on. Yeah, we have a horrible echo. Let's see. I wonder if I put my headphones on and my laptop, if that would help. We have a real time technology solving skills here. We are on it. All right, let's try that. Except that now we won't be able to hear her on the mic. I think we have a technical issue that the audio guy is going to work out. But meanwhile, I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to repeat your question to the crowd. How about Great. that? Great, that'll work. This is fascinating. Sitting in here listening to nothing. Okay. Our first caller. How exciting. Portland Women's Crisis Line. Okay, so we have an actual nonprofit here with a technical problem that we're going to try to solve. Are you ready, crack researchers? Excellent. Lay it on us. This must be a really good one. So, is it the Portland's Women Crisis Line? It is the Portland Women's Crisis Line, yes. And they've got a, a technical issue that we need to work on. Exactly. And so what Teresa is describing mm -hmm. uh, is that uh, they have a website, mm -hmm. Portland Women's Crisis Line, for um, women who are suffering abuse. Mm -hmm. And so am I understanding, Teresa, that the question is, when women come to that website, is it possible for them not to leave a history trail that their abusers can find? So it sounds like uh, certain women, when they come to the website, it leaves a when you when you go to a website, it leaves a history marker of every website you've ever uh, been to. You can delete your history, um, which is isn't Morgan's too difficult. There's several different ways depending on the browser that you use. Um, but it's also possible, I believe, for the website to choose to not leave that tracer when you hit it. Um. Much like advertising sites that uh, uh, use your browsing history to determine what to show you right. um, um, in the focused advertising, like on the on the sidebar in Google. Um, <laughs> oh, we 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 can't uh, we can't actually blame the technical research team for. Uh, okay, so Don P. Don P. actually encouraged Teresa to call in with this question. Well, um, so, I mean, I know that one simple way to do this is that, um, for instance, the Firefox browser has a little uh, utility in it that's called private browsing. And if you go, at least on the Mac, and I'm sure it's similar in Windows, perhaps Morgan could chime in, under the Tools menu, there's a little um, menu choice called Start Private Browsing. And as soon as you start private browsing, it notifies you that you're private browsing, and then your computer will not be recording any uh, trail or any history of the websites that you've been to while you're private browsing. Mm -hmm. Other browsers probably have a similar kind of... Um, uh, Safari does, and uh, I'm not sure that um, Internet Explorer has the private browsing option. I've never used it, but I do know that it's really easy to delete your history by going into your Internet, uh, internet options and deleting all your browsing history. There's a, a link on there, or a button. Really, I'm, I'm shocked that a Microsoft product would have um, less easy to understand privacy controls really, than some Nate, other products. Really, Nate, you're shocked, I'm shocked that yeah. Microsoft is 
this is not going to be a Microsoft bashing episode. No, I would. Because I have to say, as someone who is an extensive user of Microsoft products, that uh, I am not allowed to bash it yes, in public. Yes, that's true. Because you I can had make to, your living off of it. Because I had to sign a contract and write it in blood. And so. Understand. Right. Well, we will definitely not um, go but you're into welcome bashing. To. I, I may you're occasionally to. And uh, I will send listen. something Microsoft way. Um, yes, and we, uh, we have um, word from our crack research team that Safari, as Morgan pointed out, and uh, Google Chrome browsers both have private browsing. Mm -hmm. And then IE8 has something called private browsing as well. Um, so if you've got IE7 or anything uh, older than that, you'll have to go in and actually delete your browsing history, which is a matter of maybe two, three clicks tops. But yes. if you go to I, if you upgrade to IE8, which is free, right, because Microsoft is, is you know not completely horrible, uh, then you will um, they have an in private browsing option which you can use. So let me just clarify something about our setup here. Is the audience not able to hear me over the broadcast? No, you are hearing We're me. Good. Excellent. So we can both talk. Yes, we can. I like that. Awesome. Okay. So. Uh, um, Teresa is curious if, so the solution that we provided is from the client side, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the woman in crisis has to do something with her browser, and she's wondering if there's anything that the Portland Women's Crisis Line can do on their side to prevent the history from uh, mm -hmm. being recorded. And, and I believe so. I would have to check and confirm that, but I believe that uh, a web-based application can access the history. Of a of a compute of a of a user when they when they go to the website, I'm not sure if they can actually manipulate the history, but it stands to reason that uh, if you can access it, you most likely can manipulate it, which is a, a word of caution. Um, most websites, uh, unless they're unless you've got your web your browser locked down pretty tight, can really get in there and manipulate things on your on your system. Yeah, our crack research team is coming back with a possible no on that question. I mean, the problem is is that your computer is, um, <clears throat> is uh, you know, trying to access the domain even before that website has any ability to interact with your local computer. And so the browser is already saying, I'm going to go to the Portland Women's Health Crisis crisisline.org website. And so that alone, that piece mm -hmm. of information is recorded even before it has reached the website, right? I wonder if it's possible, though, for the website to actually go back and delete that entry in the history. Okay. Upon Let's reason. put that to the team. Sounds like maybe no. Yeah, so um, at, at the very least, Teresa, it sounds like it's an education issue, um, which is maybe a little difficult because these may be women who are reaching out for the very first time. But perhaps the um, uh, the crisis line could put something on it. On maybe they have an outgoing phone message or something that tells people to use their website, and they could, um, you know, recommend that people uh, use a private browsing session. I'm kind of curious. Um, what is it about having a... Uh, say that again, Teresa. Sorry. Okay. I wonder what um, what happens right. when a when a you know why would why would right. a, why would you think a woman would need to delete her browsing history from her website well, or the, from her computer? The the reason is they don't uh, the reason for the whole question is that mm -hmm. they wouldn't want their abuser to see that they had reached out and contacted the crisis line. That's a good point. That's part, a really good thing to do. Part of the problem here is that. Uh, Teresa is that Morgan can't hear you, and so sometimes you're both talking to me at the same time. Um, one question, Teresa, do you have the uh, Ustream uh, of uh, our show going behind you on your computer? You know, are you watching online? Like, okay, I guess that could be causing the echo. 
We got some technical issues here. Yeah, or if you or you can just hit the pause button on. on it. Just out of curiosity. I can. I'm going to try to unplug you and see if you still get the echo. All right. Let's see if that works then. Oh, look, we have, um, we actually have a chat out from Jason Maurer, one of our other uh, Microsoft. <laughs> I knew he'd come to the rescue. He was on my mind. Okay. Did that solve the echo problem at least? Affirmative. Yay, affirmative. So, um, <clears throat> uh, Jason points out that uh, Internet Explorer did have private browsing first. So Microsoft Excellent. gets a few of that. <laughs> Microsoft wins again. Maybe our researchers could do a little work to uh, confirm whether or not that's true, because Jason says that it's true, but that doesn't mean we necessarily have to believe him, right? <laughs> you know, well, you for full disclosure. Be, um, why don't, since this is out in the open and everybody knows how to find um, Tech for Good and N10 and Point Women's Crisis Line, and it's out there in the community now, um, why don't I go ahead and uh, clear the line so you can take other calls and maybe people can um, look into this, right. you know, uh, you know, because you guys have only got an hour. That's right. true. We only have an hour. Right. We could spend all day working on women's crisis. Yes, line, we could. And um, we yes, you so could. Hours. That would be a lovely thing to do, but that's besides the point. So uh, um, thank, you, thank you for your call, Teresa. And for, for those of you out there who uh, are interested in more information from the Portland Women's Crisis Hotline, um, their website is pwcl.org, and their phone number is 503 Two three five five three three three. So, please, if you need help, go ahead and, and contact them. Uh, it turns it looks like we may uh, end up generating a uh, <coughs> Apple Microsoft snark off. So we need to be a little bit. Who careful. you and me? <laughs> no, it's actually from our uh, the, our team of crack researchers, oh. and Jason Mauer. Oh. Um, well, uh, you know, uh, for full disclosure, Jason Maurer did work for Microsoft. I heard that he worked, but then I heard that he got laid off. Is that true? But, you know, once you work there, it's... Oh, is his mind it. permanently warped? Permanently warped. Any any contact with a Microsoft product, it just twists your your mind into a permanent, you know, loop. So, Jason, did, I hope loop. that you heard that your mind has been twisted into a permanent loop. Self-referencing. Uh, Self-referencing permanent loop. That yes. sounds pretty bad. It is um, really bad. I wouldn't recommend actually, it. Actually, we're going to take a minute here off from our, our technical um, talk to do a little bit <clears throat> of a shtick that we stole from Car Talk. <laughs> and um, it's, it's both uh, educational and it's a brain teaser and it's fun. Or, well, we'll you'll be the judge of that, I suppose. <laughs> so um, I, one thing that we uh, are hoping to do in the show every once in a while is um, have kind of a technology puzzler to give our viewers... Um, you're you're going to try and stump me, aren't you? I'm going to try to stump you, and I'm going to try to stump our viewers at home. But what I don't want you to do is give the answer away before okay. our viewers have had a okay. chance, right? Well, then just assume I know the answer every time. Okay. Just for future reference. All right, well, so this technology puzzler came up for me recently when I was helping my nine-year-old daughter, who's affectionately known on the Internet as Bunny, uh, with her homework. And she is studying base five numbers. Are you familiar with base five numbers, Mark? I am. <laughs> Excellent. And it reminded me that there's another um, base n number system called binary numbers mm -hmm. that has a lot to do with technology and computers. And I think a lot of people don't really understand binary numbers. Are you, uh, are you pretty good at binary math? Um, let's just say I've seen it. You've seen binary math before seen in action. In You've action. seen it in the wild. Yes. <clears throat> um, and I'm getting word from our crack team that they're having a little trouble hearing us. I'm wondering if... Uh, Maybe if I do binary sign language. You guys need to be louder. Uh, we need to be louder. How especially, about, does Morgan especially need to talk louder? Okay. Shall I re-mic a little or bit? Or maybe, maybe... Mic adjustment? Since, since you guys have a lot of audio equipment, maybe you could turn a little dial. And yeah. That would actually <laughs> maybe there's the one volume. that goes to 11. You know, that might work. I, oh, hear, I hear that's pretty effective. Oh, uh, wait, we're, we're getting another call, and we haven't been able to do our puzzler. I'm going to just decline him for a second, and I'm going to apologize, and I'm going to ask you to call back in just a second, okay? Um, sorry about that, but we need to get this puzzler out there so that people have a chance to give us an answer while the show's still going on. I'm sorry, I don't know Klingon. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to yeah. chat him. What? I hear your phone ringing. Yes. That's a really big phone. What you got there? It is. 
Okay, so um, I did a little research into binary, the binary number system, uh -huh. and I found out some really fascinating facts. Really? Yes, and I thought that this would make a good, uh, a good technology puzzler. So um, people may not realize it, but we every day use a number system that is based on what? Base 10. Base 10. And why is it on base based on base 10? Because it goes up to 10 before it starts repeating. Yes, that's true. And maybe that's it has something to do with 10. the fact that we have 10 fingers. <clears throat> nice. And count them. One, count them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. Base ten. And that the base ten number system mm -hmm. is called. Base ten. <laughs> There's another name for it though. It is the decimal. Is it? Number system. Well, yes. I've never heard of that before. Yes. And there's actually... Newfangled, that's newfangled math, right? It the is decimal newfangled math, system. the decimal system. And there's actually um, a name for all the number systems, starting with base 1, which you wouldn't even think was possible, all the way up to be kind of um, boring. base 10. Base 1. And then there's some even more exciting numerical systems after base 10. 14? Yeah, there's um, the hexadecimal system. Do you know what base the hexadecimal system is? I believe that's... 16. I believe you are right. <clears throat> Excellent. <clears throat> little moment of celebration. <clears throat> At any rate, uh, getting to our tech question, uh, I came across a really interesting fact while I was researching this, mm -hmm. which leads to the actual puzzler that we're going to give our Oh, audience. so the, that hexadecimal? What? No, that, Do that I not get it. anything for answering the hexadecimal No, you get that. Question? You get 16. You're, you are on the... Do you, can you uh, tell us what right. all the numbers in the hexadecimal system are, all the symbols in the, in the, in the alphabet? I can. What are they? Actually, uh, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F, and 1G and 1H. I think you got and up zero. to 15. Zero, that's the key <laughs> one. Okay, a lot of people forget about the lonely zero. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually usually the first symbol in the, in the, uh, in the system. Well, it's the most important, so I, I wanted it to be last, because yeah. usually the last has the most. You're right. So um, uh, here's the puzzler. We're getting, we're getting close what, to the that puzzler. That wasn't now. it either? I know, that wasn't it either. And I want you to be careful not to answer the actual puzzler, right? Because okay. we're going to give our viewers the opportunity to try to answer the puzzler before the end of the show by contacting us via Twitter, which is at Day On, or um, you can Skype in to Day On Not Off. Um, you can also go to the dayon.org website and you can find all our contact information right there. So in the binary, binary number system, a single bit of information is actually called a bit. Mm -hmm. Right, you're familiar with that. So yeah. it's, it's an on and off, a one or a zero. In, in, in the ternary number system, which is base three, right, a digit is called a trit. Really? Yeah. Wow. Very interesting. And then in the quaternary mm -hmm. numerical system, four. Four, base four, base exactly. Four. The digit is called a crumb. A crumb. C R U M B. Like. So we have crumbs and bits. Yes. And then wait, in the hexadecimal numerical system, which we were talking about before, uh -huh. base, which is 16. Base, 16, base 16, the digit is called a nibble. Actually, I think I've heard that. OK. So I here's where you're not that. supposed to give the answer, because it's time for our viewers to give the answer, right? Why are the digits in hexadecimal called nibbles and in quaternary called crumb? Wow, we're getting. Uh, we're getting a lot of messages. We're getting a lot. We of spent messages. far too long in our puzzle. Okay, so before 10:30, which is the end of the show, if you want to um, get your uh, answers in, we will randomly select one, and the winner will receive a official day on button. <clears throat> okay, so let's see now where we have uh, in our text stream now where the questions have have uh, done. We've got a lot of good jokes here going. Mm -hmm. Brian Stearns is. Is hitting it with the technology jokes. <laughs> so. <laughs> nice, Brian. Thanks. Do you I'm want to tell it or shall I tell it? No, you should tell this. All right. <clears throat> In base eight, 
what would your name be? Uh, according to Brian, it would be N10. <laughs> but I need to do the math on that one in order to know if it's really true or not. Try doing it in base two. In hexadecimal? Binary. Oh, we finally have another caller. And actually, I'm going to um, hold off Shannon. Um, and we have a caller ahead of you, and we're going to take that first. Is this the guy that called in earlier? Yes, let's get to him. You want to go in order. Okay, so Richard, I hope you're still there. We're going to actually call you now. I'm not used to wearing glasses. But... We have Richard Donnelly on the line. Hello, Richard. Hold on, he's, we're still ringing. He's not actually there. I would like to myself. see if he answers. And if he doesn't, we're going to go right to uh, one of our other callers. Richard. Yeah, Richard. Oh. Uh -huh. We probably have right. some serious echo now. Are you hearing us okay? I'm hearing you fine. I'm, I sense there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, I'm hearing you. Yeah, we're all hearing each other. So okay, Rich good. Richard, hey, you, um, you called technology. in with a question. It works. I did, and I don't know if it's one you guys want to tackle or not. It's about Shoot. a local carrier, um, Clear Communications. Have What experience have you had with them? And... I had some pretty good uh, reliability issues up until the last 30 days, and it seems like a couple times a day now they just drop off, um, off for up to an hour at a time. And it was, you know, trying to listen to 30-hour days last night was a little bit frustrating because I kept losing the signal. Uh, I wonder if if you've had that experience or know people that have. Okay, well, I know for our viewers who don't know what Clear is, Clear is a new, I believe it's called WiMAX Internet Service Provider, right? So you can connect to the Internet wirelessly. Um, yes. But you get a, a, a kind of um, broadband connection wirelessly, and you can do that from anywhere in the city, or at least where their coverage extends, right? And I believe that uses a yes. USB modem, right? Yes. Uh, so are you, is this from just your home, or are you noticing this connection uh -huh. problems all over? I have um, the home modem and the wireless um, adapter for my laptop, and when they go out, they both go out. Um, so I, I'm 100% sure it's a network problem, but it, I, I find it really odd that they were reliable up until the last 30 days, mm -hmm. and now I have serious uh, connection did you, issues. Did you them. move uh, the, the, is this from your home system? Uh, from both of them. I, um, so this is I brought both my laptop home into the bedroom last night so I could listen to 30 hour day uh, while I was, you know, in bed, sleeping, maybe hoping to soak up some of the enthusiasm, um, you know, while I was sleeping. Were you, were you cuddling with your laptop? That, assimilation. But um, I kept losing the signal, and uh, yeah, it's real frustrating. Hmm. It's hard to sleep when you lose the signal, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, Especially when you're used to the noise the in the background time. and all of a sudden it's quiet and it's like, oh, you know, where'd everybody go? Yeah, I, I like to go to sleep being lulled by Rick's voice as well. Um, so... <laughs> no, 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 I would uh, think more of Cammy, but, you know... Oh, no, Rick sings me a lullaby every night. That's oh. awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I think Morgan had a good question. Did you move um, any of the equipment that you used to access? So your laptop you moved. Um, uh, Brian no, it, well, not significantly, um, and they have lights, especially the home modem has, um, it looks like they have five lights on top, and they're mm -hmm. steady on four, I, I'm sure it's the same as bars on a cell phone, oh. but uh, it'll go out and flash and do all kinds of sequencing, and um, it, I, I can pretty much tell when it's uh, totally out, and, and that hasn't moved an inch. Um, and when that goes out, the uh, laptop connection also goes out. There's a there's a couple of options that you can try. Um, first of all, uh, even with the five lights running on your modem, it's still possible for you for you, for you to get some interference with neighboring electronics. Um, so that could be a problem. Um, mm -hmm. Also, yeah, it could and, uh, be that uh, Clear has oversubscribed, so you're getting degradation from all your neighbors. Um, so yeah. it might be possible uh, if you uh, get a booster from Clear to boost the signal, that might help also. Well, I hadn't, hadn't thought of that. The uh, cell tower that I get the signal off of here in southwest Portland is only five blocks away, so it's, it's a fairly strong signal. Mm -hmm. um, 
Do we know if Claire is doing a, a big rollout of um, access in, in southwest Portland? Oh, in southwest, I'm not sure. Hey, here's another um, question from our tech team. Do you uh, use a wireless um, phone that's on the 2.4 gigahertz wavelength? No. Um, in fact, the only phone I use is, um, well, I have a cell phone, and then um, for most good. of my calling, like I'm doing this morning, I use Skype. Right. At least when your internet connection is working, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, have you, have you contacted Clear themselves to try to seek a resolution? Oh, um, that's another issue. The reliability issue um, has been bothersome lately. The customer service issue, that's a whole other thing. That's, um, um, I, no, I haven't because I try to avoid the aggravation of dealing with the folks. All right. And instead, you're aggravating us. On, I know. on Saturday, <laughs> morning. Saturday morning, um, it's a 30 I, hour day, and I, I have nothing else to do. I have heard, I have heard also that, that Clear is experiencing a lot of issues uh, with their connection in the last 30 days. So yeah. you, it yeah, sounds like, like you're not the only a one. Booster. I'm going to dig into that a little bit and see if that may help out. Maybe it's another tower I can drag a signal in from. Sure, sure. Thank you very much, Richard, and best of luck with your connection issues. Hey, and thanks for being there this morning. Uh, We're here uh, for you. We're here for you. Also, uh, one other added point, um, Richard, before you go, um, our crack team has pointed out that there is a Portland WiMAX users group at pdxwimax.ning.com. So um, you might get better advice from those folks who are really focused on this issue. OK, fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Bye. Well, that, you know, this crack research team is really working out, I it's, think. They're kind of handy. I wish I could take them to work with me. Yeah, I like it that we just sit here and we talk Can and I, they provide do information. Do you guys fit in the pocket? Can you, like, shrink yourselves down and I just carry you around yeah. in my pocket? Stephen might handy. fit in the pocket. You know, I, I'd actually <laughs> like to take this moment to introduce our crack research team. Is yeah, there any way that. we can get a camera over on the uh, research Oh, we can, we can walk them over here. Oh, no, it looks like we're going to get oh, some no, camera we're action. We're actually going to get live camera feed in a second. Excellent, excellent. Um, and so when I introduced I don't think, you guys, I don't think they were expecting this name. No, they, I know they're a little camera shy. They're, they're, oh, <laughs> they're, they're panicking hair, now. All of they're three of them. They're panicking now. Um, so if we could flip over once we get that camera set up, I'd like to introduce the crack. Hey, oh, there we go. So right in front, you have Brian Stearns, and that's Brian, hey, Brian. Stearns on Twitter. Thank you, Brian. And then uh, sitting to his left... We have Stephen Walling, who you may all know from his work on various wikis around the world, including Wikipedia and About Us. And then, last but not least, we have the inimitable. Wow, I said that. Padom, right. padom. Padom, padom. Padom, padom. I tried not to pop my when I said it. Who is uh, well known for his solar powered bicycle, among other things. Yeah. So, a big hand out for our research team. Thank you, guys. You're keeping me looking smarter than Nate. And that's your job. Oh, uh, we all, we're, we're continuing to get uh, additional input from Jason Maurer, formerly of Microsoft, <laughs> <laughs> all right. who seems to be a kind of volunteer research team. Um, so, who, uh, by the way, will be performing this afternoon with his band uh, No Good Jones during the Variety Show, just so you know. I didn't realize that he was multi-talented. He is a multi-talented guy. That's good. So maybe um, um, he can fall back on the band uh, now that he's not able to earn money for Microsoft. You know, w that remains to be seen. We'll have to, I'll have to hear him play first yeah. before I can make any sort of assessment on that. All right. Well, we will be talking, uh, we will be talking with uh, Jason later on, or you'll be viewing him here on uh, 30 Hour Day. Um, so I'd like to actually remind our viewers that we're not here just to talk about technology, right? No. We are here to raise money for Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots. Free Geek. Free Geek. And let's just talk a minute about Free Geek. You know all that old computer gear you've got lying around? Like that stuff that Richard Donnelly has that's interfering with his WiMAX connection? Yes. He should take that down to Free Geek, right? Uh-huh. And he should donate it? Yes. And, and they will go through the donations and anything that can be reused, they will reuse into uh, make uh, new systems. And anything that can't be reused, they will recycle. And it's uh, just really a fabulous service. They give uh, computers out to um, charities, to people in need. And uh, I think I need a new laptop. You need okay. one? Are you going to go down to Free Geek? How are you going to get a? Are you going to get an Apple? A new MacBook Pro. Maybe I wonder if they. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they have a. They probably have a whole stack of the new 13-inch MacBook Pros, which That's are awesome. That's what I want. That's <laughs> yeah, what I want. I'm sure they do. So I just Maybe like they to. Can hook me up. I'd like to point out here that um, we are halfway through our show. 
our segment on Tech Talk. Woo, we made it. And um, we have broken the $2,000 uh, mark yes, on we have. for a 30 hour day. We're yes, up we to um, $2,185 raised so far. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's a big woot from their research team. Woot. woot. Uh, and we're happy to see that. But we would like to encourage you, you can go to the 30hourday.org website and mm -hmm. click on the donate button. And so if you're enjoying our work here, um, please support the charities that 30 Hour Day is supporting. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, we, we could go to another caller, but yes. I just wanted to remind people that they should be working on their answers to our puzzler. And I'll just repeat it again. Please do, because I forgot it. You forgot it already? I did. I have too much stuff in my head already. I can't keep all this stuff in all the time. Did you know that? I have to recycle my yeah. brain power. You have yeah. to recycle the bits in your brain. Right. Well, or the that, crumbs. Or the crumbs. Or or was it the, the uh, nibbles? Nibbles. Exactly. Yes. So, I need to recycle so the question the is, why are the uh, units of information uh, in the uh, um, quaternary and hexadecimal numbering systems called crumbs and nibbles? I would love to know. It's really, it's actually. I a have fun a feeling answer. it's food related. It may be food related, you're I'm right. I'm just guessing. You're that just, is a total guess. How did you come up with that? I, I, I'm just really that smart. You know, that's why I like to have you as my co-host, because you are just wickedly smart. Wicked smart. You are, seriously. Wicked. All right, well, shall we go to another caller? We have yeah. uh, Shannon had called in before. We can call her back. And sure, I'm assuming it's a, a woman. I'm not sure. It could be a boy, I suppose. That's a pretty good guess. Let's give Shannon a call and see what she uh, wanted to ask us. We are dialing Shannon. Oh, we have a ring. You gotta love Skype. I have a feeling I'm gonna be using Skype a lot more. Yeah. Shannon. Hey, this is Nate Angel from 30 Hour Day. You're live on the air. Can you hear me? We, we can. can hear you. Yes. And Morgan is here with <laughs> me as well. Five by five. <laughs> I have a question about erasing a hard drive. Erasing uh, a yes. hard drive. Oh, that's always a good one. An external hard drive. Yes. Oh, an external one. Well, those are much more difficult to erase. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is why I haven't been able to do it. Okay. Well, lay it on us. Is you just want to know how to erase it? Oh, uh, what I want to know system? how to erase it. Here's the real trick. It's password protected. And it's. I want to erase everything on it. And but that you cannot. You cannot actually access it with a computer. Um, I can access most of it, but what I can't do is take anything off it. Everything's being done in open source. Everything like well, uh, that's that's your. I'm bag. only using. Um, I'm trying to use like a command line prompt to right. erase everything on this. Um, what well, what I'm finding online are tips that tell me how to erase everything on my desktop computer. I'm not finding anything to tell me how to erase an external hard drive. Right. Well, I actually do know a little bit about this. Wait, I think you're reaching way beyond your comfort zone here. This is, we're talking the Mac app operating system. It's, it's a Unix-based system that might be a little too complicated for someone who's more of a Microsoft at the same time. Are you are you slamming Microsoft again? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, no. What, so just to be clear, are you on a Mac OS 10? I am on. I'm using Ubuntu. Oh, Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally I misheard you when you were talking. Sorry. So you are running actually a Linux distribution, Ubuntu. Yes. Do you know? Yeah. Are you like on Classy Heron or? Snarky Duck or whatever. Do you know what release of Ubuntu you're on? I don't know what release I'm on. Did you guys win the Snarky Duck? <laughs> Three Snarky years ago. Three, Three years? year old release. Yeah, okay. So, um, Our research team is having yeah. a field day over here. So, uh, We've got some Ubuntu lovers over there, I think. Our, our Ubuntu team is um, saying that unless what you had the drive set up to encrypt itself, um, mm -hmm. that just reformatting it should remove everything on it. Now, are you going to be getting rid of the drive? Is that part of the issue? Uh, <laughs> no, I want to get rid of all of the previous owner's content. Oh, is this, this isn't a romantic breakup technical <laughs> question, is it? <laughs> you know, that, that actually brings us to another segment on our show, which is, we call it the technology love triangle. Exactly. <laughs> 
shannon, thank you thank you for bringing it right to us because i was afraid we wouldn't get all the way down to that. i'm loving it already. yeah, so a previous um user of this hard drive and i that's user with a capital u capital user. left